Hello folks and thanks for checking out this video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Neil and if you're a new visitor here, then you may not recognize this crazy thing mounted to the backhoe. This is actually my homemade wood splitter that I've been using all winter and spring to split my firewood. I've got a couple other videos on here where you can see it in action if you're interested, but it happened to be on the machine before I started to do this job today and I've never really documented the process for removal or installation of this thing so I thought I'd throw in a little montage here just to demonstrate how every job that you decide to do on any given day may require a different set of tools or attachments. In the case of today's project I was going to be digging so I needed to switch this out for the bucket. Now, when I'm pinning the splitter on and off by myself, it requires a few trips back and forth from the machine just to get everything lined up. But all in all, it isn't too bad to switch it out. Same process then for my bucket. Since I can't use a quick attach with my splitter, I'm forced to pin the bucket on there the old-fashioned way also. So, But I'll let you watch me fumble around with this, and I'll address today's project in just a second. Today I'm going to try to fix a broken down field drainage tile. The farmer called me and said he's got a hole in his field. We know that usually a big hole like that that's moved a lot of dirt is the sign of a broken down tile underneath. So, And you never know what you're going to get into. It could be an, a clay field tile that's 80 years old or it could be a more modern 20 year old plastic tile that's broken down and compromised. But I've put on the two foot bucket on my backhoe. It's got a smooth cutting edge. That allows you to dig down and not really damage the tile if you get really close to it. The smooth cutting edge bucket is great for finding something that you don't want to damage as you're looking for it. I've got some common materials thrown in the bucket that we found usually are helpful when you're trying to fix something like this, but we could be totally wrong too and be something completely different. So, Fortunately this job is close enough to home and I'm just going to drive the backhoe over there and see if we can get it banged out this afternoon real quick. Thanks for checking it out. Did you find it? It's not much of a hole. This little hole is what we're going to try to fix. Clay tile. Oh, there's another little hole. So these are little suck holes that start when there's a problem with the tile. So these two are probably in line with each other. Should we just dig like that? Well, let's go get the back up. So this is an old clay field tile. This one here is kind of smashed too. You can see how it's the water is running in there, which is what sucks all the dirt. But it looks kind of irregular. We need to get this all exposed. We'll probably have to dig it back farther too.
Fallen, I think it's fallen down into a main or something. That's why it's so high. It drops off so fast. I think it's I think it's going down and connecting right here, and I think it was broken on its way down. I'm not so sure it hit the Right here's the hole, see? Yeah. That's the original hole. So I think it was it might have been leaking in one of these joints back here and it actually could be fine. We don't have to expose that because that doesn't look like it was leaking anywhere. Here's what we got going on. We found this six inch tile. The six inch tile that you see there with the opening was running downhill because the way that you lay these tile, they don't exactly fit together tight. And as it went downhill, there was gaps in between the tiles. So the gaps create voids in the ground where dirt can fall into the tile and it, it creates suction holes over time. And then in the course of trying to find that tile, what was going on, I over dug it and hit this little four inch tile running perpendicular to that tile. So now we gotta fix this one. So this four inch has already been fixed, but I took the pieces out. We're gonna patch it in. Okay, it's about perfect. I'll see if I can just get it like that. <laughs> You want to seal up this joint as much as you can so that it doesn't suck water. Softer salt bags work good. That'll keep dirt from trickling down into the joints and creating another hole. Got an external six, see if it'll fit around that clay tile. Yeah, I think we want to do that. Okay, will you? Yeah, that's fine. Pushing and twisting. This is the original joint, and it's got a few weak spots in the uh, in the joint, but we think it's concreted in there. I can see concrete around there. We couldn't budge it, so we're going to cover it up best we can and bat it, and hope that that doesn't create a suck hole. I think it'll be fine.
like to leave those clay pile. They bury them back into the trench after they're done. I hate that. The wind was just too bad. What I'm saying is I don't like putting the clay pieces back into the trench because if you ever try to dig this spot up again, you're going to be finding those little pieces with the probe. It'll be really confusing on what you're trying to dig up. And that's what we run into all the time when you put tile pieces back into the trench. So. Well, actually, that job wasn't too bad. We were able to find the problem, dig it up, get it fixed. And I think they'll be able to plant across the top of the, the trench in the next couple of days, and they'll be good to go. So thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.